It's your best mix of music, 92.4. Capital FM, the world groove continues. At the beginning of the hour, we played uh, Sauti Soul's Soma Kijana. So I said, I introduced it very proudly as uh, So Many Vijana because my head was elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but we actually have uh, the person who sang the song here. So at it's called what? Soma Kijana. Soma Kijana. Why not just So Many Vijana? Uh, so not, I don't know. With naming songs, just what sounds nice. <laughs> okay. Soma Kijana sounded nice. And it, it, was it a sample of the... Uh, of... Was it what was who who did the original? So many V. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, same no same concept, that. not really a sample, just same yeah, concept. Yeah, because it has also has that old school vibe to yeah, it. Yeah, twist as well. It has a twist vibe. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, kinda the same, but just I guess a revamp of the song. I love yeah. the fact that we just dived in without even introducing you. It's really ah, shameless. It's so good, so good. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the world knows your voice by now. <laughs> Guys, we've got a Grammy winner. In studio, you are a Grammy winner. I am, I am. Proudly, you are proudly, proudly a Grammy I'll winner. I'll turn on the street. <laughs> <laughs> proudly. <laughs> got a Grammy winner in studio. Uh, Polycap, Fancy Fingers um, is you. here to talk about a new song. Yes. That just came out this week. Yes, it it did. Yes, it was this week. Yeah. Yep. So thank you so yep. much for dropping yep. by. Yes. Um. So let's let's let's. In fact, let's just dive right into it. In yeah. Itua. The song is called uh, "Follow." Uh, "Follow" is a dedication to uh, our fourth anniversary. So it's been four years. Who is that? Marriage. Me, we need me and my wife. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> me and my wife. Yeah. So it's four years. I mean, the the. So I had to make it special because the past four years have been just crazy, man. Uh, since we got married, then COVID hit, and then we got a baby. So we haven't really had time to properly you know, celebrate and, and just, you know, have a moment together. Yeah. So I thought of doing this surprise for her um, and I featured one of her favorite, favorite artists, that's Indiari, who happens to be a good friend uh, of mine. So it was... <sighs> we was, hate uh, you. <laughs> I just called up my good friend India already. Uh, yeah, I'm like, sis, you want to get on this song? Like, she was like, yeah, sure. No, she's really kind, actually. She's really nice about it. Um, yeah, and I wrote the song, sent it to her. She loved it. It's very rare that she jumps on a song, uh, you know, just like that. Very true. Yeah. So that also made me feel good. I'm like, yeah, it's a good song. Um, and she jumped on it and I did the song in secret because <laughs> she didn't have to know. Even though my son was singing the song everywhere in the mm. house, but she didn't know what song that was. Yeah. Because when I was working, my son was there a lot. Um, yeah, so the song is just uh, just an, an ode to her. It's a, it's a love song, really. And uh, yeah, her as my chosen life partner. That is yeah. that is beautiful. Yes. And uh, we also, when it debuted on Instagram, because yeah. the video is um, has footage from your wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just absolutely perfect. Listen, how did you do the grand reveal, I think? And it's playing on your best mix of music, 98.4 Cap FM, yes. Before people forget <laughs> what you're, they're listening to. So how did you do the grand reveal? Of the of the song of the song. Of oh, the okay, okay, yes, yes. So I I I kind of planned a show mm -hmm. um, with with uh, some partners uh, with Gig Dynamics. So they have a, this monthly show. This was the second month they're doing a show, and uh, it happened to land a day before my birthday and two days before anniversary. Mm. So yeah, it kind of uh, anniversary is literally right after my birthday um so at the show is when i had planned to reveal the song and perform it last mm -hmm. at the end so i performed my part in the beginning until my part and then i just let indiari's voice just do the magic um and she was like she was yeah she was completely surprised she didn't expect it she was very excited and very happy and yeah that just made me feel feel good that's nice <laughs> so, so you've yeah. got like brownie points by ah like, proper yeah. <laughs> proper proper and it's also just such a beautiful curation of your love because when your kids watch that yeah you know what i mean like your your kids kids and your kids 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 and all of that it's just a nice curation of what it was like yeah yeah in a, in a celebration of love that's amazing yeah and these moments man you want to treasure them uh, yes. you know and we all know uh, like life together there are bumps on the way crazy bumps on the way it's not easy at all, at all. so there's just moments when you look back when you're in a rocky place and you look back and you smile and at least you're like okay I mean, I remember this day was amazing, it was fantastic, everything was just really flowing and everything was happy. 
and it just takes you to another place that you know <laughs> so every time you feel, you're upset you feel, you're just like oh yeah, let me pull up this video let me pull up this video <laughs> there's this one there's a proposal video there's this video and there's yeah. a traditional wedding so those yes. ones are very they're yeah, very dear to you very dear to me and I love that the artist in you documents everything I have because to you never know you never know you never know you but never also know. just for me- memories anyway yeah yeah it? yeah so even yeah. this video I'd never plan to release it even she didn't know um, that it was going to be the video of the song. Of course, she didn't know because she didn't know the song existed in the first place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but when I showed it to her and I asked her, is it, do you approve? Because, yes. uh, yeah, kind of had to ask her if I can do the video. I kind of did, like, yeah, just sneakily asked her, you know, what if you released this video, mm. uh, wedding video now, what would you think? Like, yeah, I don't think I'd have a problem now. Because I guess when it's fresh, you just don't want to do it. It depends on the kind of person you are. I get you. You want to hold on to those hold memories on to just it. for you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we actually didn't want to post it or anything. Um, but then it was perfect for the song and uh, she was perfectly fine with it. Reminds Thank me you. of a, a country song, um, Dan and Shay. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. What's it called? Um... Woo! How can I forget the name of the song? I know the one you're saying. Na, 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 na. Oh my lord! Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know the one you're saying. Uh, because the, the 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 video is also their actual wedding. Yeah. The, the band members' weddings, yeah. and, I, yeah. and I love that. Why have I forgotten? <laughs> In the heat of the moment. And you know the funny thing, actually, when you go to the comments, there's some people who actually think this was shot. Just, just for the for song, the vi- yeah, 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 and even some people are like, mm, "You guys are kissing too much." Kony, are they? I think even they are married. What is happening here? Oh, God. Imagine some like. <laughs> well, the internet has everybody, doesn't it? It does. It does. It does. It does. You can blame them. I love it. So yeah. this song is co-written uh, yeah, by yourself, co-written. by yeah. India Ari, and yeah. I saw Yawa. Uwaya. 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 Uwaya Tajiri. Uwaya Tajiri. Okay. So he's uh, one member of the duo called Watenda Willy. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so Tender Willy are also an amazing um, yeah band that has been there for maybe two years, I think, now. They were formerly Cascazini, so they were I three. I remember, and they were yes. part of Soul Generation. Yes, they were. Yeah. Yes, we had signed Cascazini. Yeah. Then they disbanded uh, themselves internally, and then the two came back together, mm-hmm. and now they're called Watenda Willy. Are they under Soul Generation? No. Oh, at the moment, no. Their own peeps. Yeah, their own peeps. But okay. we use them a lot. So, like, Uya writes a lot of, like, our songs, even as Saudi Soul. He mm. writes a lot of songs, and he happened to write uh, this as well. I love that, because I think there's some guys who thought that maybe they left in a half and a puff and they ha- there was beef. Yeah, 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 I know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> some things you can't prevent, really, what people think. So, <laughs> But I love the fact that, you know, you're still promoting their yeah, of course. Talent. Oh, yeah, for love sure, it. for sure. I mean, we have to be in touch also with the young kids and know what it is, how they're thinking. Uh, we can't just do it ourselves. And now, as much as we write, produce, do everything by ourselves, we still have to have this, you know, small input of... Not even small, big input. I'm missing yeah. small of just different people from around the industry, so they can also grow. Um, yeah, correct. Yeah. So wh- where are we gonna see this song? Um, is it part of an EP? Uh, yes, actually, it is. It is. Uh-huh. Thank you for asking. Yeah, it is. It is part of an EP that's coming out hopefully around Valentine's week. Uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. And of the EP is not just about lovey dovey. It's all around <laughs> love. Yes. But there's breakup songs. Yeah. There's, you know, there's just songs when you don't feel good about your relationship. The songs when you're ecstatic about it. So it's a whole 360. And I'm collaborating with female artists only across oh. the world. Ooh, across the across world? They're going to give us a sneak peek as to who? Uh, so there's India. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a South African. Uh-huh. There's a Nigerian. Mm-hmm. Uh, Indian American. There's uh, hopefully a UK artist. Okay. What's the name well. of the EP? Do we get a name? The name that I'm working with now, the working title, <laughs> the working title <laughs> is Arrows and Crosses. Arrows and Crosses. So Arrows and Crosses because of the, the signs of male and female yeah. coming together. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, so male is arrow, female is a cross. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just Arrows and Crosses. That's, okay, so that's working yeah. title. Yeah, that's the working title. Sawa. Yeah. Okay, release with Taruditu. And Taruditu. Taruditu. Lazima. <laughs> Lazima. With, with all my uh, featuring acts. OMG! <laughs> With All of them here. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations to you. Thank Happy you. Happy anniversary. Thank you for good Thank music, you good much. visuals, good projects. We're proud of you, man. You have so many EPs at this point. I know. And it feels like each is um is a very specific, unique project. Exactly. So let's talk about Potluck. So Potluck, so as you say, just to, to touch on what you're saying, I have different projects, yes, um, but I try them not to really, uh, what's the word? eat each other up because they're very different. So like there's the pop st- side, which is the like follow, for example. And then this one is a completely different project. It's, it's instrumental. It was inspired by the sound, first of all, is uh, we all know of lo-fi music. That is chill music uh, that we listen to when you're studying or you're st- 
want to sleep or you're you know uh, hanging out with friends or you're reading a book um, but then there isn't really that kind of music that has an African touch to it and now everyone is looking towards Africa when it comes to music fashion everything it's just it's Africa our time. it's our time it has been our time for the longest time <laughs> and now I just want to like create this genre of you know of an afro infused uh, lo-fi kind of music uh, that's just chill still and when you listen to it as an african you relate to sounds You're like oh i can hear that i can hear that so this this is a completely separate project and i want to do as many of them as possible mm. so this is just the first one like even the idea is to release every six weeks to have something out every six weeks because they feed a completely different not market but just like a different time, you know, when it's not a club song, it's not, it's just like when you chill, when you're having a good time with your friends. Um, they're very good also for like uh, sampling or, or using in movies or TV shows and stuff like that. Interesting. But of course, we have to call you and pay you for that. Of course, yeah, <laughs> for sure. That's why I'm making yes. them. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, and this one was, this particular one was inspired by a cooking show that I have with my wife. It's called The O's Kitchen. And um, I wanted to make, I wanted actually to to license music for it. Then in my head, I'm like, wait a minute, I am a musician. A musician. I'm a yeah. producer. I can yeah. actually make this music for myself, and use the sh- cooking show to push it. But still, it can be used in different, many other ways, not just on the cooking show. I love that. Um, yeah. So I made the music, and it was launched at the same time as the cooking show, which is already out. We're on episode, uh, I think, three now. Um, yeah, and the reception is amazing. People listen to it. I'm getting like serious testimonials of people saying this EP has changed. I went on a shroom trip. <laughs> I did this, this, this. Um, uh, you know, um, or or I was studying for my exams, and this is the music that I was playing. And I was going for a drive. Actually, going for a drive with this music is fantastic. It's the one. It's the one. Yeah. And all the songs have are named after food, right? Yeah, they're all around water, food. Yeah. And then there is give give us give us the breakdown. There is uh, so there is brai, which is uh, barbecue South African, South African, African barbecue. barbecue. Mm-hmm. There is coconut water. There is macadamia. There is pots and pans. <laughs> there is uh, what else? There's salt shaker. Mm-hmm. Um, there's wine and dine. Mm-hmm. I think I mentioned all. There yeah. are eight. Maybe I'm missing one. Yeah, but those those are the ones I those can remember ones. quick. So yeah. I'm curious. So if I want to license music, I yeah. want like you know for for use of whatever in my project. Yeah. yeah. So what what's usually the process? Because guys talk about that, but th- what is the process? I mean, it depends on how how long. So it, there's a term. So if, let's say you want to take it for a year, mm. right? Uh, yeah. For a commercial, for yeah. instance. So you license the music for that year. You can there's an option to license uh, exclusively. Mm-hmm. Or or non exclusively. So non exclusively means someone else can use it as well. Exclusively is you wanna b- take the song, license it for one year, then after that, I can use it with anyone else again. Mm. Also, you can buy full rights to it uh, forever. So let's say whatever Nivea comes and says they are launching a product and they want to use the music to use a certain song and they want it for life. So they come, they buy the song, um, they buy the master rights of the song. Uh, for a certain period of time, whether it's 20 years or whatever time, and then the song becomes theirs fully. And then we find a way of also revenue share, uh, mm. publishing revi- revenue share. Okay. Yeah. So how much does something like that cost? So for uh, example, It depends. Everyone has their price. I have, a, <laughs> I have a, let's say I have a YouTube show, yeah. and I want to use it for a year yeah, yeah. as my theme song, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. I think it's it's case to case. It okay. really depends. Um, I'll see who you are. If you're maybe a blogger that's starting out, we can agree on a mm. nice price. If you're a big brand, we can agree on a very nice price. <laughs> I, get that. I totally <laughs> so it's, get it's that. It's case to case, really. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. we're just talking about the fact that um, if the word, or rather the term multi hyphen, it definitely applies to you. Oh, I think. Because so far we have musician. Yeah. Producer. Yeah. Um, cooking show host. Yeah. Writer. Yeah. Uh, what have I missed? I mean, right Singer is, now. Yeah. Trying. Band member. <laughs> band okay, that, director. I guess, I guess it's under all under musician. Yeah. Band director. Yeah. Uh, what, what, yeah. which, have we have we have we missed anything else? Uh, I think you have it. Ah. You have you have most of it. <laughs> any any other projects we should be excited about? I feel like there's something maybe in the works. Um well, so this 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 one I hold dear to also as well because uh, as I said we'll have probably 
if it's every six weeks, maybe nine in a year across mm-hmm. the year. Mm. So that will be, you know, quite a good volume of work. There's arrows and crosses is coming. There's a project that I'm working on with Winyo. I don't know if you know Winyo. Of course we know Winyo. <laughs> we play Winyo's music all oh the time. Oh my gosh, he's just, he's, he's, very talented. he's magical. Yeah. Yes. So we have a project with him. And we are both very excited about it. Okay. Um, so those are the ones that I'm really working on right now. And of course, in the band of Saudi Soul, we have our album coming soon, um, sometime mm-hmm. next year. And our single actually coming out this week. Oh! <laughs> did you hear? What's the name of the single? You can't say. I can't say. I what, can't what, say. what genre is it? I can't say. I mean, it's just, it's pop, just our usual Afro pop music Afro-pop. that we do. Okay. Yeah. So which yeah. day do we like? Yeah, um, Friday, that's 20 what, 26th, is it? I yeah, don't know. That one. That's fast, that's fast. <laughs> But I think it is 26th, because next Saturday is 27th. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah 26th. All right, yeah, so we're yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Listen, always a pleasure to have you. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Polika Thank you. Fancy Fingers. Thank you. I'll just be coming every week now. Just, just at this point, at this you point, might I'm be a co-host. A I'm a co-host. <laughs> <laughs> He's a co-host, guys. He's a co-host. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. And Thank sharing you. with us your gift. Thank you very much. Um, a true musician, so we appreciate that. And I told you, this is one of my favorite shows. Yes, like, ever, as it ever. should be. Yes, I as love it, it so, so much. Awesome. So much. Thank you so much. Thank eh? you, Koi. All the best with everything, and uh, we'll see you soon. Yes, for awesome. sure. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> see you next week. Keep it locked to the world group. <laughs>